Hey Jada, I'm heading home to stay with mom for Thanksgiving next week. So you better clean up my damn room in time for my arrival. Do I make myself clear? Huh? Kevin? I assumed you'd be messaging me about dad's funeral. What is this about? Fine, you're, you're coming home. Good for you. Want a medal? I don't see why that means I should clean up your room. You can do it yourself. You're a grown man. Besides, it doesn't even need cleaning. Just because you haven't been home for ages doesn't mean mom suddenly just stopped taking care of it. She still cleans it up every once in a while. Oh, she does? Well, in that case, I'll let you off the hook. Aren't I kind? Jesus, Kevin. I know you've been hanging out around at your girlfriend's place so much lately, you pretty much live there now. But won't you make your mind up and come to actual decision about who you're living with soon? What do you mean? I mean, you're still registered as living here with Mom. All of your mail still comes here, which means Mom and I are constantly having to deal with it. We usually have it forwarded to your girlfriend's place so it gets to you, but... I can tell you, Kevin, it's a royal pain in the ass to have to go through the same tedious process every time something comes for someone who literally doesn't do a thing for this family. Oh, the mail? So that's what you mean. Jeez. Talk about being petty, sis. To think you wouldn't even do something so small for your big bro without complaining. You act like some kind of saint. <laughs> There's a little something I need to discuss with you when I get back anyway. So, how about we kill two birds with one stone and do it then? I have a feeling we'll be able to come up with a solution to your petty complaint. A solution? Is there something I need to know? What do you need to discuss with me? It spoiled the fun on the day if I spilled the beans now. Um... I see. Well, I guess I don't mind waiting. Okay, whatever. Just make sure you message me when you're on your way so I know when to expect you. Don't forget. I have food and things to prepare, so if you show up out of nowhere without announcing yourself, you'll put me in a difficult spot. Okay, whatever. See ya. Hey, Jada. I never had you down as such a unhinged lunatic. You're insane! What's that supposed to mean? Your bank account! All the transfers into your account come from people who seem super dangerous. Excuse me? Um... What the hell? Hang on a sec, Kevin. Are you home already? Yep. I told you to let me know when you were on your way, damn it! But if I did that, you'd probably destroy all the evidence before I arrived, wouldn't you? I know how you think. Destroy all the evidence? Yep. I had to make my homecoming a secret, so I could perform some stealth checks on your bank account to see how it is you've been able to afford living at home for free, leeching off mom for such a long time. What the hell? You had no goddamn right! And wow, leeching off mom, are you serious? I have a freaking job! Unlike you, I actually contribute money to this household and to society. Like right now, for example. Me and mom are on a trip to the supermarket together. I'm covering the entire grocery bill today. Yeah, I could tell you'd been receiving some kind of pay packet when I checked your bank account. I had no idea you were involved in such a shady business, though. Shady business? How do you mean? No matter which way you look at it, the work you do is shady. I saw your bank statement, and it did not look like that of a decent, respectable member of society. Whatever. Me and Mom are on our way home now. Get the hell off my tablet and get out of my room! You had no right to go snooping through my bank account! Mom, are you done at the dollar store? Huh? Well, I just got done at the register, now I'm packing my groceries away. 
Got it. I'm on my way to the supermarket parking lot as we speak. Wait for me at the exit. Huh? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? My brother came home without telling me, then apparently he let himself into my room and looked through my banking app on my tablet without my permission. Goodness me. All right, let's hurry. Okay, I'll be there soon. Look out for the car. I'll be ready and waiting. Kevin, what did you go and do? You can't seriously have changed the locks on the front doors. Huh? Are you home already? That was fast. I gotta say, sis. It takes a special kind of a nerve to go out splurging on fancy shopping trips with money you obtained through illegal activities. What? Illegal activities? I saw your bank account, Jada. The names of the people transferring money into your account were way too suspicious not to be criminals. What are you talking about? Of course I'm gonna get paid. I have a damn job, you buffoon. Which part of that is suspicious? No matter which way you look at it, it's nothing but suspicious. And I'm telling you to explain why that is, bird brain. Because you've been receiving payments from lots of different people. Huh? Normally, when you're a law-abiding citizen, you only get paid once a month. You get paid by your employer, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But you? What's going on with you? There is a company name, but there are also a bunch of senders who look pretty obviously like private individuals to me. Jada, are you selling drugs? Selling drugs? Wow, Kevin. Have you actually lost your mind? That's because I'm a freelancer, you dummy. I don't just work for one company, nor do I just work for one person. Sometimes it's companies, sometimes agencies, sometimes charities, sometimes it's private individuals. Okay, I admit it. You're a smooth talker. But you did have a lot of time to come up with a story. So, I should hardly be surprised that you sound convincing. A story? It's the truth for crying out loud. Get out of this house. Excuse me? I'm willing to do you a favor and not tell mom about you earning money through suspicious criminal activities. But you need to get the heck out of this house. Suspicious criminal activities? All I did was work and then get paid for it. Why are you so convinced I'm some kind of mafia boss all of a sudden? Listen, sis, because I'm kind, and because you're my sister, I'm willing to let this slide if you leave the house. However, if you won't own up to your sins, I'm cutting you out of my life. There's no room in this house for a criminal. Get the hell out of this house. God damn it, Kevin. So basically, this means you want to come back and live with mom, doesn't it? Huh? But that's incredibly awkward for you with me here, so you want me to get out of your way. That's what this is, right? I might actually be able to respect you if you just admitted what you're actually trying to do, instead of being so crafty and indirect about it, coward. Um, no? And, hey, shut up. I ain't no coward. It ain't like that at all. I just don't want to be involved with a criminal. Can you imagine how dangerous it would be for mom to have someone like you under the same roof as her? Hitmen could show up in the night. It's patently obvious you're up to no good from one look at your bank account. So why won't you admit it? You're the one being the coward here, sis. I'm not letting a criminal live with mom, and that is final. You are never to enter this house again. This is an order from the eldest son and heir to our dynasty. Our dynasty? Okay. Maybe you've just lost your mind, but okay, whatever. In that case, you won't be wanting my $7,500, huh? $7,500? 
Me and mom were thinking about having some renovations carried out on the house. First of all, the plan was to get as much as we possibly could done with the 7,500 and see whether we wanted to have anything else added afterwards. We still haven't approached any building contractors or had any consultations with anyone, so we're still just in the planning stage. But if you're telling me to get out of the house, I won't be putting that money towards the renovations anymore. Hmm. But that's money you made through illegal activities, right? God, are you still harping on about that? I don't need your dirty money. Fine, suit yourself. But if I'm going to be moving out, then I'll need a removal company to come and get all my things for me. So there'll be some people showing up at the house. Is that alright with you? Sure. That is generally how moving works. I suppose I can allow that. Jada, are you okay? Oh, hey, Mom. Kevin is insistent that you're not coming back in the house. I don't know what's gotten into him, but he says only me and him are allowed to live here now. Are you all right? Yep, I'm fine. I was just about to message you, actually. My friend Carla said I can stay at her place for a little while. Fortunately, I took my laptop with me, so I can still do my work from there. Right, oh, that is good news. I'm pleased you're still able to do your job, at least. If anything, I should be the one asking you how you are. Are you okay? Yes, for now. But I can't believe your brother is accusing you of being involved in illegal activities. He mentioned something about drugs and mafia hitmen earlier. Whatever am I going to do with that boy? Oh, that... He knows full well I'm not doing anything illegal. I wouldn't pay him and his shenanigans any attention if I were you. Wait, what? He does? So why is he doing this? Yep, he knows. Sure, he doesn't know exactly what kind of work I do do, but... I'm also pretty sure he knows I don't sell drugs or anything crazy like that. He just wants to come back and live with you, so he needed a reason to get me out of the house, that's all. I see. Which is why for you too, Mom, it might be for the best if you start making your own preparations to leave the house soon. Leave the house? Me? I know that's not going to be an easy thing to do, because you've had that house so long and made so many amazing memories there, but it is getting old, and... Like we talked about the other day, the repairs and renovations it needs aren't going to come cheap. Besides, thanks to my idiot brother, we're probably not going to be able to go ahead with any of that now anyway. Most importantly, you finally understand what a leech Kevin is now, right? Right. If I let him live with me here, it's not hard to imagine him doing everything he can to avoid working, so... He can live the easy life on my pension. Hey, Jada. That $7,500 we discussed before? I want it in my bank account. Now. No questions asked. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Are you dumb? Can't you read? I said no questions asked. Damn it, if you must know, it was the rain last night. It was crazy. I felt like I was in the Amazon rainforest. When I woke up, the house was full of leaks. It's like a damn swamp in this place now. And that's not all. When I stopped to take a look at the general state of the house, I realized all sorts of things wrong with it. For example, the paint on the ceilings is peeling off, then there's the floor. It's loud, creaky, and to top it all off, there are random planks missing. The hinges on the back door look like they're about to fall off. Also, I don't know if this is just my mind playing tricks on me, but I can't help but feel like the whole house is slightly leaning to the left. Tell me something, big bro. Your girlfriend kicked you out of her apartment, didn't she? What? 
Remember how I told you before about how me and mom have been forwarding all your mail to her place? Well, we had her phone number as part of that arrangement. I got a message from her the other day. Me and your brother Kevin broke up. So I'd appreciate if you could stop having his mail forwarded to my place because he'll never be coming here again. Holy Jesus balls, are you serious? Apparently she got sick of you when she realized what a leech you are. You'd been living with her for months and always had a convenient excuse when it came to explaining why you hadn't been looking for work. I guess everyone's patience has its limits. Um, well, uh, I... But of course, being kicked out of your girlfriend's place meant you had nowhere to go except for mom's house, huh? The plan was to kick me out based on some bullshit story about me being a criminal so you could leech off of mom and her pension forever without me being around to call you out on your reprehensible behavior, wasn't it? Um, well, oh yeah. Where is mom? She left yesterday and still didn't come back. I'm starting to get worried. About what? That you'll have no one to leech off? Don't worry, let me put your mind at rest. Mom will be living with me from now on. What? You seem to be making a fatal misunderstanding, so allow me to set you straight. Mom's pension isn't big enough to provide for a lazy, neat loser like you. What? Me? A loser? That's why I was living with her at her house, to help her out financially. Do you really think I couldn't have left if I wanted to? Wait, seriously? I had no idea. All right, great. I think I understand the situation now. No problem. I'll live with you guys then. What? If you're already supporting mom, then what difference is one more head gonna make? You'll barely notice I'm there, I promise. It'll be a breeze to look after me. Yep. Me, you, and Mom are all gonna live together as one big happy family. Alright, hurry up and tell me your new address, and I'll be on my way. Stand on your own two feet for a change, you shameless leech! What? Um, Jada? Mom's house belongs to me now. It's my name on the deed. Huh? I just applied to have it demolished at the beginning of next year, so you have until New Year's Day to take all of your things and get out. What? You're having the house demolished? You're kicking me out even though I don't have any money? Yep, exactly. And guess what? It just so happens there's one simple answer to all of your problems. Get a job, you lazy bum! Oh my god. Alright, well, me and Mom are cutting you out of our lives forever now, so... I guess this about wraps up our relationship. What about that $7,500? Oh, that? You wouldn't want to go near that. I obtained it through illegal activities, after all. Goodbye forever. It turned out my brother had been living with his girlfriend for a whopping five years. Astonishingly, he'd been leeching off of her this whole time. She was successful with a well-paying job, and it looks like he exploited her good nature to manipulate her into paying for him to exist for a very, very long time. Kevin, after being disowned by me and Mom, sprinted back to his girlfriend's house in a desperate panic and pleaded with her to take him back and give him another chance. But to his dismay, the house was already empty and my ex-girlfriend was nowhere in sight. She must have known Kevin well because she sold the house and moved out of town immediately after breaking up with him to protect herself against the risk of him showing up again out of the blue. And it looks like it paid off. I heard my brother finally made his way to the job center just two weeks before the house was scheduled to be demolished. Fortunately for him, he managed to land himself a job that included a live-in dormitory arrangement on the very last day before the bulldozers showed up. But less fortunately, due to his total lack of qualifications or work experience, 
The stuff he's able to do at his workplace is extremely limited, and he often ends up being regulated to Coffee Boy, which leads to him being the butt of many jokes. Apparently, he now spends his days being relentlessly mocked, ridiculed, and bullied by his co-workers. I'm not gonna say that's a good thing, because bullying is never acceptable, but let's be honest, it couldn't be happening to a better person. <laughs> Hey, Talia. I was just wondering if I could use your laptop when I get back home from school. I told a friend that I would be online tonight and I need to use it. You mean you want to use my laptop to play a game with your friend? That's right. There's this really popular game at school right now that everyone is playing. You're on teams with your friends and you go around and shoot the other team. Oh, yeah. I think I might know what kind of game you're talking about. Those are kind of hard but they can be fun to play, too. Well, literally everyone at my school is playing it, and I told a friend that I would get online to play in tonight. So please, can you let me borrow your laptop? I really am sorry about this, Farah, but I'm afraid that I can't lend you my laptop. What? Are you serious? Why not? I promise that I'll only be on it for a few hours. Well, the thing is, is that my laptop is for work and it's not meant to be used by anyone else. Not only that, we're not supposed to be downloading really big games like that on the laptop anyways. But, more importantly, the end of the month is a really busy time for the company, so I'll be working until late, and that's why I can't lend you my laptop. But I really, really want to play this game! I already told my friend that I'd be getting online tonight! Not only that, but I actually just transferred out of a class with that friend, so this is the only chance we'll have to hang out later. Please, everyone at school is playing it, and I don't want to feel left out. Well, if that's the case, maybe you should go and ask your parents if you can borrow their laptop or something. What are you talking about, Talia? You know that my parents don't own laptops. They only have phones. Oh, right. I guess I forgot about that. But why did you tell your friend that you'd be on if you didn't have a laptop of your own to play on? Well, because I thought that I'd just be able to borrow yours and that it wouldn't be a big deal. I didn't think that you'd actually tell me that I can't use it. Well, I don't really think that should be my fault. How could you do this to your own niece? Don't you love me? Don't you want me to have fun? Please, I need to get on the game so that I can level my character up and brag to all my friends about it. I told my friend that I was at the top of the leaderboards for the past five years. Wait, really? You mean that even though your parents don't have a computer, you've been playing the game for five years? What can I say? We kids have our ways of getting what we want. So I recommend that you do just as I say and hand over your laptop. Don't you think that you already spend enough time on that laptop of yours anyway? Well, I use my laptop to do work, so it's not like I'm playing games or browsing the internet. Farah, I understand you wanting to make friends with your classmates, but there's no need to lie. Anyways, I think you should go and tell your friends that you don't have a laptop to play the game on. Ugh, you're useless! Do you know that? Why can't you just shut up and do as I say? Look, when I get back from school, I'm going to use your laptop. Do you understand me? Nadia, are you there? Please, I need you to come home right away. I can't work like this. Talia, what's going on? Is everything okay? Your daughter keeps asking me to borrow my laptop even though I told her no several times now. I've told her that it doesn't belong to me and it belongs to my work, but she refuses to listen. And ever since she got back from school, she's been pounding on my office door demanding to use it. What in the world is going on over there? And why does Pharaoh want to borrow your laptop so badly in the first place? Well, I guess that she wants to play this game that's getting popular at school with a friend of hers. But, I guess she thought she was going to be able to use my laptop when she told this friend that she was going to get online tonight. Although I told Vera that not only is she not supposed to be playing games on my laptop, but that I need to work tonight. And no matter how many times I try to explain all of this to her, she just refuses to listen to me. I see. 
Well, sounds to me like you're being quite the bully. Why are you trying to keep a little girl from playing with her friends? She's already in middle school. It's not like she doesn't know how to use a laptop. So you don't have to worry about her deleting any files or anything like that. That's not the point. The point is that this laptop is very important for my work. And I really don't want to be taking any risks with it at all. Okay, sure, but don't you have two laptops? I don't see why you can't just lend the other one that you have to Farah. I'm sorry, but both of those laptops are for my work and nothing else. I literally make my living with those machines, which includes the rent that I pay for this place and the money that I put into our food and utilities. So I will kindly ask you to remember that ever since you lost your job in the corporate restructure at your work, that I've been the one paying for everything for all of us, for our food, clothes, even Farrah's school supplies. So now the truth finally comes out. This isn't about Farah at all. This is just about you trying to lord your power over us, is that it? All of you know that my husband is working very, very hard to try and find a new job right now. I am sure that he's trying, but he's been trying for a long time now, and has very little to show for it. I mean, you all have been living with me in my house for the past six months now. And just why are you saying that it's a bad thing, huh? You have no idea how difficult this has been for us as well. It's been so difficult to find a company that's going to be a right match, and we just didn't expect the news about the embezzling we did to spread so far so quickly. But... You see how you set this up for yourself, right? I mean, you were the one stealing all kinds of office supplies when it was time to go home. But it's not like we were stealing from the company that much. I just, I didn't think anyone would even notice. And I certainly didn't think that it would make finding a second job this hard. I didn't even think that we'd be fired. Well, I don't really know what you want me to say to that. I mean, of course you shouldn't steal from work. I don't care if you were just trying to save money at home. Now you don't have any money. Shut up! Don't you think that I've already thought long and hard about all of this? Don't you see that we're working to fix all of this? We're always standing in line at the temp agency just waiting for some work to come through. Do you know that we won't even have enough money to buy Farah a birthday present? So please, the least that you can do for that poor little girl is to let her use your laptop. Look, I'm already doing you guys a huge favor by looking after her while I work from home. So, I don't think that it's fair for you to tell me to give her the things that I need to do in order to work. If I lend her my laptop, then I am not going to be able to work as fast as I need to. Do you not understand that? But don't you know that kids can make money on games nowadays? What if Farah is actually so good at this game that she can turn it into a career? If she started to win money from playing her video games, then I promise that I would give you some money from her as a way of saying thank you. Look, I really don't have time to put up with all of this. Can you please come back home? Because I really need you to take care of Farah and tell her to stop banging on my door. If this doesn't stop, then I think we might need to rethink you all staying with me. Now, hold on just a second. You're really saying that you're going to kick all of us out on the streets because my daughter is being a bit of a brat? Besides, I can't come home early. Ferris still doesn't know about what happened to our jobs. Hold on a second. Are you serious? Is this a joke? Have you two seriously said nothing to her? She is still in middle school. I don't want to upset her at this delicate time. There is no way I would be able to tell her that her mom and dad don't have jobs. I still can't believe that you actually just threatened to kick us out like this. I thought that we were family. You're not even human anymore. But fine then. If you want me to go home, then I'll go back home. And I'll have to explain to my daughter that she can't even play an hour of games thanks to you. You're the worst, do you know that? It's all your fault that I lost out on my chance to play with my friends. I finally thought that I would be able to make some new friends from school by playing on this game, and now I'll be left out of all the conversation on the playground. Farah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about how you refuse to let me use even one of your laptops. I got in a fight.
fight with a kid at school today thanks to you. She questioned how I could be at the top of the game's leaderboards if I don't even have a computer. And then I got told that nobody is going to want to play with me since I'm a liar. I'll have to transfer to a new class again. This is all your fault. You're horrible. I'm sorry, but this is your fault for lying to your friends about this game. Shut up! You're the nerd who's always on your computer all day! I thought that you'd understand where I'm coming from! Okay, Farah, this is the second time you said something like this. What is it that you think I'm doing on my computer all day? Because I don't get why you think I'm some kind of shut-in nerd. Of course you are! You spend all day on your laptop, so I don't know what else I would call someone like you. Even my mom was talking about how you do nothing for this family besides stay at home all day on your computer. Did your mom really say all of that to you? That's right. In fact, I went to go tell my mom about how you wouldn't let me borrow your laptop. And she said she's going to get me one of my own. She told me that it would be an early birthday present and that if she gave it to me now, that I wouldn't get anything else this year. But of course, my mom is still getting me the laptop, unlike you. She's always trying to give me what I ask for, no matter the price. Except, she also told me that this might be the last big gift that I get from her, since she says that her and dad have to spend all their money to compensate for you sitting around the house and doing nothing. That sister of mine really knows how to run her mouth, doesn't she? Did you really think that I was buying it when you said that you use your laptops for work? I know that you just spend all day in your office, playing games all the time. You moved into this house with us just so that you could take advantage of our generosity. And then when I ask for the tiniest of favors, you refuse me. I just... Oh, I really just can't stand you. You really piss me off. Do you know that? Oh... Well, you know what? That's funny, because I have half a mind to say the exact same thing about you and your family. What are you talking about? We've been nothing but generous to you. You're being the freeloader. Why don't you just leave the house and leave my family alone? This is my house, and I will not be leaving. You're such a bully. All I wanted was to play a little on your computer, and you have to act this way towards me? Well, nobody wants you here anymore. In fact, I've made sure that you can't ever lie about doing work to me again. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? What did you do? I smashed up your laptops. Or rather, I should say that I'm just finished smashing them all up. Wait! What? Are you serious? That's right. I guess I just lucked out with you deciding to stop out for a little today. Did you really do all of this because I wouldn't let you use my laptop? Of course. You were acting so high and mighty and so self-important with your job. So I just knew that I had to teach you a lesson. And I did. With a baseball bat. Farah, I hope you know that you're in big trouble. I was already at the limits of my patience, but now you've gone way too far. I am sick of putting up with you and your annoying family. Also, that laptop cost $20,000, and you and your parents will be paying that back. What are you talking about? What laptop cost $20,000? I told you that those laptops were specially designed so that I could do my work on them. You have no idea the kind of hardware that was inside of those things. No. No, this this can't be happening. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. I, I thought that you were just playing on that laptop every day. Uh, I didn't know you were actually working. I told you that I was over and over again. But I am going to the police about this. I'm not going to let you get away with what you've done. How could you treat your own niece like that? What are you talking about, Nadia? She destroyed my property, so I went to the police. But you still reported your own family to the police. You could have just come to me about this first. You were the one that was mad at me for not letting her use my laptop in the first place. I warned you that I was getting to the end of my limit with my patience, 
And I heard all from Farah about how you described me as a freeloader. You told her that I was nothing but a leech on you all. Even though the truth is the exact opposite. And that's why I have to ask you all to leave. What do you mean? What are you saying? I'm saying that all of this time I've been paying for rent, food, school supplies, everything. And despite all that I've been doing for you, you turn around and treat me like this. I tried to be patient with you, but I can't take this any longer. Wait, n n no, uh, please, uh, this is all just a big misunderstanding. No, it isn't. I'm only saying what's true and you know it. You were the one that lost your job and then came running to me looking for a place to live. You should have been more responsible. Didn't you realize that you have a kid to take care of? But I just... We didn't think that we'd get caught. That's why we've been pretending to go to work every morning. Well, how about you stop pretending to go to work and you actually find a job? I'm not going to be putting up with you anymore. It is high time that you both move out and learn to take care of yourselves. I'm going to give you until the end of the week to move all of your things. But just know that I'm going to be watching you all very closely until then. Do you understand? After that, Nadia, her husband, and Farah all left to go and live at the husband's parents' house. Apparently, however, the word that those two had been fired had reached even Nadia's in-laws. Her husband's parents agreed to let the two of them move in, but on the condition that they started working right away. The parents actually even reached out to me to offer to pay for the damages to my laptop, if I dropped the charges against Farah. They apologized to me for the trouble that their son's family had caused, and promised to keep them on a very, very short leash until they learned to behave. But since they lived out in the countryside, the only work for Nadia and her husband was tilling the fields or working in a factory. Even Farah gets put to work on the weekends. Although, if I can be honest, my work laptops were already starting to get quite old, and I was thinking of replacing them for a while. I had already copied all of my files on them to another hard drive and was looking into getting a replacement for everything. So, in a way, this worked out in my favor. But that's a story that I think I'll keep for myself. As for my sister and her family, I just hope that a little bit of real work and careful supervision from the parents, grandparents, will do them some good. And if not, then at least they'll be too far away from me to bother me now. So either way, I suppose it's a win-win for me. Again.